Hi everybody, this is Father Bill, and it's the Friday Reflection, and I'm recording this on Tuesday, and just a day or so ago, fall really set in. It's uh, cold and damp out there as I record this, and it's nice to just be inside uh, where it's nice and toasty around a campfire. Campfire? Okay, so it's not a real campfire, but it is an electric fake campfire. And I guess that's appropriate as we approach Halloween. What do I mean? Well, on Halloween, we dress up and we're not being truly who we are. We're pretending to be somebody else or something else. And so this fireplace is pretending to be a wood burning stove and it's not doing any of that whatsoever. But it does remind me, I was uh, a couple years back around this time, in fact, right on, I think Halloween, I went to the hospital to go see somebody and anoint them. And I did go anoint them and I was coming down off the elevator and a, I believe a nurse, or they appeared to be a nurse, gets in the elevator with me. And as we're uh, going down, it's only like three stories tall, it wasn't a real tall uh, um, hospital. And the woman turns to me and goes, nice costume. <laughs> I'm like, uh, thanks. <laughs> Referring to my priest outfit, right? I'm like, okay. I don't think I said anything back, but I really did think about saying right back to her. I said, yeah, you impersonate a nurse really well, too. But I didn't do that. The better of me uh, came forth and not the snarky part of me. But I had to chuckle because uh, that is just uh, one of the funny things. You don't get to see priests that often. One time I was in Fred Meyer and there was a group of uh, teenage girls looking through the uh, Halloween section of different... Um, you know, costumes and things like that. And I was kind of perusing the area myself. And they started chuckling at me. And so I turned to them and go, what's so funny? And they didn't think I was a priest. I'm like, oh, I'm a real priest. Really? I dare you. Ask me a question. And they got so afraid. They just kind of walked away and giggled and went over to another end of the aisle and sat down where the furniture was at the Fred Meyer they were, I was at. And I'm like, hmm, what should I do with this? So I decided, the snarky part of me, decided to go over there and... <laughs> Uh, asked them, so, okay, I really am a priest. I'm a priest of this church. I was in Roseburg at the time, St. Joseph. And I said, ask me any questions that a priest would know. Go ahead. And they, they, they couldn't. They couldn't answer any of the questions or ask me any questions. Uh, they didn't know what to say. So I said, trust me. And here's my, all of my information. I even had a business card, the whole bit. And uh, that kind of clammed them up a bit. So, uh, yeah. So uh, I get to wear this costume all the time, not just on Halloween. <laughs> so as we get to Halloween, so as you see this, this is going to be a Friday or a little bit later, we're approaching the Trinity of Days and how appropriate it is for Holy Trinity. In this case, a Trinity of Days, uh, Holy Days, centering around the big Holy Day, of course, which is All Saints Day. So before that is All Hallows' Eve, hallowed, hallowed. That's right, hallowed comes from hallowed be thy name or blessed be thy name or holy is your name. So this is the eve of All Saints Day. And the word saint is the word we also use for holy. All the holy ones in heaven are all the saints. And this is the celebration as we prepare for that day. So Halloween or All Hallows Eve is a time where we culturally get together and dress up. And I'm curious if you're going to be doing that. Uh, it can be fun. Um, I will hopefully have candy left over after the uh, Friday trunk or treat that will be happening for the school. We'll see. And if not, I'll have to turn the lights out at the house because I just can't keep buying that much candy. I got two bags full ready to go. It's fun. I like to, you know, enjoy the festivity of it all. Uh, but that is only preceding, of course, then uh, All Saints Day. Yeah. And that will be a big day. That's a holy day of obligation. I once called it a holy day of opportunity when I was at St. Anne or St. Anthony in Forest Grove and I don't think that really worked too well because not too many people felt compelled and the church is trying to compel us to come to church because this is such an important celebration. So consider yourself obligated. That's right. So check the liturgy schedule. There's a morning and the evening mass and from there hopefully I'll see you. I'll be doing the morning mass even though it's on a Tuesday that'll be part of my day off but this again is it's such an important day. I'll figure out what to do with the rest of those days that, uh, or the time, I'll make it up somewhere along the week. Following All Saints Day, which is a solemnity, is All Souls Day. Now, some people think this is a holy day of obligation, and it is not, but it is the commemoration of all those who have passed away who we believe yet are to be saints. 
or we do not know if they have gone to heaven or not. And so we pray for all of them. Now, All Saints Day, of course, that all the saints that are not named, of course, we have those famous ones of St. Benedict, St. Francis, uh, St. Catherine, St. Therese, all these people, but All Saints Day is for the, the rest of the crew, the cloud of witnesses in heaven. And with that, uh, we come to All Souls Day, and that's what we're going to be celebrating. Now, there's options for All Souls Day, which looks like a, like a funeral. Options are the vestments. In a funeral mass, what colors can we wear? Here's your choices. A, purple, B, white, C, black. What do you think? Want to take a guess? Well, if you said all three, you are correct. And I have all three of those colors. So I don't wear black hardly ever, and people don't usually ask for it for a funeral. But All Souls Day looks like a funeral as far as the readings and the context, of course, because we were praying for those who have passed on. So this time, I'll be wearing black. It's about the only time I really wear it, because nobody requests it at the funerals. So if you're coming to Mass on that day, uh, you'll be surprised, because when's the last time you've seen somebody wearing black? Yeah, I'm just trying to raise awareness. You know, this is an area that we, we don't know where they are. We pray for them, that well, they will go to heaven, that they're in the process of journeying through purgatory to heaven, and then they will join the saints in bliss and ecstasy and the pearly gates. Well, folks, that's it for me for now. And I will see you uh, this weekend for Mass as we get ourselves geared up. And we have some wonderful readings coming up. You'll have to pre-read them. I encourage you to do that. And then from there, uh, we will hit on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, these high holy days of Halloween or All, all Hallows' Eve, All Saints, and All Souls' Day. God bless you. Bye-bye.